Look what just came in the mail. One single bottle of the new Army Painter range Warpaints Fanatic. Currently there's quite a buzz around this new paint range on social media and I really wanted to create a review for this. Unfortunately I only have one single bottle so instead I'll probably make a first look instead. First of all the coverage on both black and white primed bits. Also how it behaves in a wash consistency, if it works for feathering and how it will perform while glazing on a surface. I can already tell you I'm excited for this paint range for three reasons. But more on that later in this video. By the way my name is Tobi, let's start with the review. Okay, so let's discuss coverage first. As advertised, this color covers really well. In the application I did here, I used a synthetic brush and added a little bit of water to ensure it flows smoothly from the brush to the miniature. And here we are already with the results. One coat on white and one coat on black. The prime underneath is still slightly visible, but the magic really happens when the second coat is applied. Here we can see the complete coverage on white, which is no surprise, but it also works really well on black. I can see no difference between the two actually. Next, the bits will be covered in a heavily watered down mix. This works really well, probably because the paint contains so much pigment. This is a significant advantage and can save beginners money by simply converting regular colors of this brand into washes by adding water or medium. On black, this only tints the primer a little bit, but I wasn't really expecting a miracle in this case. But on white, this works really well. I apply paint on the edges of this base and use a damp brush to feather out the edges. I have to be honest here, I'm not a Golden Demon winner, so please excuse my lack of skill when it comes to this test. I compared the performance with Citadel Cantor Blue here, and I have to say both perform equally well. Okay, so for this I switched from a synthetic brush to a Kolinsky Sable brush. I thinned the paint down and applied it layer by layer to create a really smooth gradient. Once again I compared it to Citadel Cantor Blue and both performed again really well. I can hardly see a difference if at all, so fantastic. So do you need this paint? In my humble opinion, as a mediocre hobbyist and miniature painter, I would say if you already have a good blue, probably not. However though, I think this is a really high quality hobby paint, like all the others, like Kento Blue or from Vallejo, Dark Blue is a really nice quality and doesn't have to hide from the other brands, right? It's on the same quality and this excites me for the entire range out of three reasons. First the value. So this is a big if, because prices are currently, when this video is recorded, not known yet. So what does this mean? The old war paints from Army Painter cost per bottle 3 euro and 25 cents for 18 milliliters. When you compare that to Citadel paint pots, where one paint pot costs 3 euro and 60 cents, but only contains 12 milliliters of paint, and both are equally good, I would say you get a lot of value for less price. Additionally, the product comes in dropper bottles, which I prefer over paint pots. And this dropper bottle has something Vallejo dropper bottles don't have, and that's mixing balls. So each bottle comes with two metal mixing balls, which is really nice. I'm really excited about this kind of packaging, in addition to the quality of the paint. Talking about quality, that's the second thing which I'm really excited about. So if the coverage can be maintained like this consistency over the entire range, because every range I have the model color range from Vallejo, for example, and there are some winners and some losers in that range, right? You have some orange, some off-whites, which don't cover really well, especially orange is uh, really hard to get a good covering orange. So if this range has the same quality as this blue and orange and red and some off-whites, I'm really excited about that. Thirdly, it's the new concept of color triads, which I think is really nice because on the bottle you have six colors, basically the mid-tone and highlights and shadow colors. And I think that could be really interesting for beginners and some intermediate painters. And I'm really curious how that's going to turn out. Painting miniatures with this triad system sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Well, I hope this initial look was interesting for you. I see you in the next one. Bye bye.